Hi everyone, Babs again. Here I am at Point Five, the Voices of Freedom walking tour, where we highlight and illustrate the amazing history of black settlers and residents of the town of Niagara for the last few hundred years. And here I am in St. Mark's. And this is where the Waters family, members of the Waters family are buried. And the Waters family, their ancestry runs deep in this town. Their roots are deep. Humphrey and Anne, Humphrey Senior and Anne, his wife, arrived here in the 1790s, prior to the War of 1812. Settled here, had, they came with two sons. And their two sons fought in the war in the Coloured Corps. Anne and Humphrey died before the war, and Anne is listed as a coloured woman in the listings here at the church, here at St. Mark's. Humphrey, we think, was white. Their sons went off to fight. They came back, obviously, whenever they could, but their wives were left, the two wives were left to live here by themselves and to survive as best they could. Both wives had children, delivered boys during the war. And then when the town was burned completely in 1813, they had to survive as best they could. They were completely destitute. They only got by through the graces and the generosity of Reverend Addison and the church here, St. Mark's. After the war, the boys came back and they fought for years to get due compensation, but they got it in, in the end. They received land grants. They lived up in the what was called the Coloured Village, John Street and Anne Street at the end there of, of well, John, Anne and King, all around there. It was called the Coloured Village. They had side-by-side -side properties up there. But their families, their descendants became very involved in this town. They led big lives here. Humphrey, Humphrey, he eventually just disappeared, unfortunately. James died in 1840, but Humphrey is the mystery. We think possibly that he was picked up by slave hunters because he might have done a business trip, whatever it was across the border, not always the safest thing to do. But they were still looking then and hunting. Slave hunting was still a profitable business in the early part of the 19th century, as horrific as that sounds, but it was. So he just disappeared. Now their children and their sons and their sons' sons and children led, as I said, big lives, became very successful landlords, landowners, farmers, tavern keeper, ran a livery, a stable, and John Waters, he ran for town councillor for six consecutive years and was very popular. I think they had deep roots here in this town, the Waters family, and you can come and visit their grave sites here in St. Mark's and really give them honour. They were a pretty amazing lot. See you at the next site.